Hi guys, thanks for watching this Diagnostic World video. Right now we're going to show you our top three picks for Mitsubishi Diagnostic Tools. Uh, we have three tools in front of us, so we're going to show you our top three picks for which tools uh, we believe are uh, good in the market right now. Um, and something that's not going to break the bank. These kits are aimed at DIY enthusiasts uh, or DIY mechanics, so we're not going to show you anything which is dealer level because quite frankly for a DIY those kits are too expensive uh, so you're going to be paying thousands and thousands for a dealer level tool on the other side of the fence we're not going to show you anything which is legal or a Chinese clone or a copy um, or something which is just going to be over complicated to install uh, and ultimately not work these three kits we're going to show you right here plug straight in your vehicle they'll work straight out of the box no need to do any uploading any updating any installing they'll use straight out of the, they'll work straight out of the box uh, so the first tool we're going to show you for your Mitsubishi, this is the Autofix OM123. I'll give you a closer look at this kit. You see one end is the actual tool and I'll give you an up down button and also an ender and an exit button. And on that side you've got the actual diagnostic port uh, plug. So this goes straight into the diagnostic port. This is what you'll use, the screen will light up and it'll start to give you uh, trouble codes uh, for the engine module. It's important to know that this will only work on the engine module. So if you've got a check engine light, a uh, standard engine light, EML light, uh, or something which is equivalent. Uh, if you Say if you've got a vibe coil, you might have the glow plugs. Um, it'll work on that system as well. Um, but it's mainly engine oriented, so it's generally going to pick up faults uh, within the airflow or the electrical system with the engine. So you've got your MAF, your MAP sensor, your O2 sensors, your ignition coils, your camshaft, your crankshaft sensors. Um, Anything like that, any sensor related, this is, this is really going to pick up um, those kind of faults. So I'll, I'll give you the fault code, I'll tell you what's wrong. Uh, once you've fixed it, it will allow you to erase the trouble codes, which will ultimately erase the warning light from the dashboard. So that's the OM123, and that's the first pick. This is probably the most basic tool we're going to show you here. Um, but it's an excellent starter diagnostic tool if you've got no experience well in fact all of these tools if you've got no experience with using diagnostics it really doesn't matter because they are really all very simple to use and they will give you step-by-step -step instructions and it's, it's impossible to go wrong because you can only select certain options when you're going through the menu system so that's number one the second kit I'm going to show you is the iCarsoft i909 kit now this covers Mazda it also covers Mits uh, this covers Mitsubishi, sorry, and it also covers Mazda as well. So let's get it out and have a look. Now, the difference between this kit and this kit is that this kit here will cover a few more systems. So this one is mainly orientated to the engine. This kit I'm going to show you right now will cover other systems. So perhaps you've got an airbag light. An ABS light, a transmission warning light. This I909 kit will allow you to diagnose and reset faults in those systems. So it's the same principle, this plugs straight into the diagnostic port, you unfold, unravel your wire, and you're sitting in your car and you're just toggling through the menus to read codes, clear codes, erase warning lights in those systems. You may need to change the sensor along the way again, like an ABS sensor. Uh, or a certain component of the airbag system, which is not as daunting as it as it actually sounds. Um, again, this is the kit to use. So that's the I909 kit, which as I say, yes, it works on Mazda, but it also works on Mitsubishi as well. So we'll pop that back in the bag. So the third pick we're going to show you is the Launch CRP123. And as you can see this has like a handheld sort of gaming console feel to it. It's got a screen here, very easy buttons to use down the side. Plug one end of the cable in there, the other end goes into the diagnostic port. Um, and then you're away, you're scrolling through the menus, erasing codes, erasing warning lights. Now why would you choose this kit here over any of these two kits? Well, this kit here will work on engine, airbags, ABS, transmission, 
not just for Mitsubishi and Mazda, but it'll also work on a wide range of vehicles. So it'll also work on BMW, Audi, Seat, Skoda, VW, um, Mercedes-Benz, Land Rover, Jaguar, Toyota, Kia, Volvo, you name it. There's more that I can't even think of right now. This kit will cover lots of different makes and models. So if you do perhaps have a, um, if you do perhaps have a another car in the family, or you've got a friend or relative who you need you, you need to, or you want to look after their vehicle as well, then this is probably the tool to go for. Uh, not just that though. If you maybe maybe if you've got a Mitsubishi right now, and six months or a year down the line, you might be thinking about changing. Maybe you're thinking about getting a Land Rover or something like that. Then uh, by all means, this kit will be the one to go for because it covers lots of different makes and models and you also get free updates with this tool as well free updates for life with all of these tools so um, you're always covered you've always got the uh, the latest software configurations and the software updates to hand so if you want to see more information on any of these kits what we'll do is if you're watching this on YouTube uh, just click the information box below this video and we'll put the links to all of these kits right below the video so you can view them directly on our website uh, go to Google, just type in Diagnostic World, or you can visit the website directly, www.diagnostic-world.com. So you'll see lots more pictures, lots more images, videos, and specifications of the tools. And if you've got any questions, again, just give us a shout, send us an email, we'll answer as quick as we can, as honestly as we can. Um, so that's the, uh, the top three picks for Mitsubishi Diagnostic Tools from Diagnostic World. So I hope you found this helpful. And like I say, if you need any more information, just give us a shout.